Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. The most famous physical therapist on the internet. Well, in our opinion, of course, Bob. Ten changes to drastically change or reduce the neck, arm, and back pain that you may be having at your desk. Which, so very common, Bob. I know myself, I get myself in an unusual, bad position. I get ornery. Yeah. I get pain right back here. It feels like numbness, like ants crawling up. My spine right there, you've heard that from patients, yeah, haven't you? It doesn't you? Yeah. take much. If you, even just the slight, if you're slightly wrong, mm -hmm. it can cause pain. So we're going to go over these things today. You're going to want to know these steps. By the way, if you're watching the rebroadcast on YouTube, mm. please take a second to subscribe to us if you haven't already. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. And if you're not on Facebook, and if you're on Facebook, hi, give us the thumbsies and the heartsies and yeah. all that. And we'll try to look at some questions maybe a little bit later. Sure. But uh, if you're on, not on Facebook, go over to Facebook and like us because Brad and I are pathetic and sad and we need to be liked. Well, you're right. getting pretty strong there, Bob. All right. All right. All right. First thing, if you're working with a, a desk unit here, basically a computer unit on your desk. Right. Workstation. Workstation. Mm -hmm. The first thing that I always have people look at is their monitor. Right. Because if the monitor is too low, if it's down here, and my head is high, a lot higher than the monitor, what's the first thing I'm going to do, Brad? I'm going to go like this. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, Bob, we don't have to do this. Here, let's make this too low. Oh, I didn't realize it was set way up. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Yes. So, okay, I'm, I'm at my desk here. If, and yeah, show how we line up here. Brad. Right. So if you go level across to the eyes, you can see it's above the screen. And I've seen people. So I'm going to go like this in order to see the screen. All right. Correctly. Do that again, Bob. No, he had. This right. And this is what's causing, will cause a lot of neck and shoulder pain as well as down into the arm and hand. Yeah, for every inch forward that you bring your ears forward of your shoulder, you're adding 10 more pounds of stress to the neck. Right. So this is 10, 20, 30 more pounds and believe me you're going to start to feel it right. in here. and this has been researched and they you know this is not just yeah. we're not just we're making not making this up so <laughs> all right so the first thing is you want to make sure you get the monitor of the right height easy to do you can just take some books or uh, we have a stand here don't right we right here's this is a nice stand i mean i've used you know you can use books you can use a cardboard box if you know if you're in dire straits you don't have to buy something like this but it's nice you know if you want to find the books that i didn't find very interesting in my life they're underneath <laughs> the, i know i'm never going to read them again under the so see where we're at right now Brad. okay so now we're going to go level across we're getting better right i i might even have a hair higher right um but but that, we're getting pretty close now so the only thing that changes that if you wear bifocals and then you have to bring your head up to see through your bifocals then that's an exception. It's a, it's, it's a difficult thing to deal with with that. So right. let's look at the next thing, uh, the height of your keyboard. Um, the keyboard, and by the way, let's let's talk about this right away, Brad. If you've got a laptop, you got a problem. Because on the laptop, I can open it. Right here. Oh, right there it is. This isn't my laptop. If you've got a laptop, and, I, I, and I have it with the keyboard right here, look what my head's going to do. Oh, it curls uh, not just your head, your back. It turns you into the fetal position, which is only made for one place, and that's not when you're yeah, up and so walking. There's a reason why Brad and I have been seeing a lot of students lately um, at our clinic is because they, they do such things like this, and, right. and they develop problems very quickly. Yeah, they sit on the couch, they sit in their bed, and they're all curled over getting their homework done. So what you're going to want to do with that, very simply, is you're going to get another stand, put the laptop up here, right. and then you're going to get a, a wireless keyboard. Exactly. And have it down here below where you need to be, and now you can keep your head to where it's supposed to be and your arms where they're supposed to be. Right, and you get a wireless mouse as well, then you don't have to reach up here to do the finger mouse. Works very well. Ideally with the keyboard, the height that you're going to want to have it at is if I put my arm at a right angle here, mm. it actually, the keyboard, you could actually, the forearm could be a little bit lower than level even. Sure, yep, exactly. So this is too high for me. This is already, I'm bringing my arms up, my yep. shoulders are working. Right here. Um, we. It's not terrible, but it's, it's it, it definitely should be even a little right. lower. Right. What I use at home, is I actually use a separate board like this, and I just put it in my lap, and I have my keyboard down like this. 
and I'm like this. Right. This is what I use. Yeah, and you know, this is really nice. It's got some places to put your paper clips or whatever, and it's padded on the back. Yeah, it's padded it works yourself. really, it fits on your legs and it stays where it's supposed to. It doesn't slide all over. I'm going to jump right into this next one, Brad. If, if you do need a wrist support while you're working with one right. of these, because a lot of times that helps put your wrist at a more of a, a neutral position right. instead like this. Right. Um, or if you need a, a support for your mouse, what I'm going to recommend is this is by Ergonomic Innovations. And here's the support that goes below the keyboard. And here's the support that you use for the mouse. And so all of you might be wondering, where is it? Why don't you show it to us? Because I can't find it. <laughs> I have no idea where it is. I've looked everywhere, and I cannot find it. Uh, so so I'm going to put a picture of it right now. Once you get over 55, you pull things out, and you forget where yeah, you put them. So exactly. We'll, we'll get, we'll... My wife looked for them. Lonnie looked for them. Brad looked for them. <laughs> Nobody found them. So we're going to be showing this on Facebook, too. Hopefully, I'll find it um, otherwise. But... Uh, we'll put a link below. Sure. Uh, ergonomic innovations, good product, really well made. So I can give a. a you can vouch for that. Vouch for that. There so, you go. Um, that the the thing where you really want to use a support like that is if you have sharp edges. Sure. Um, if your table has sharp edges and you're putting your wrist against mm -hmm. it, which you think that nobody would do such a thing, but I've seen that many many times. Right. I. I my neighbor did it when I was looking at her at her workstation. Well, you're not thinking about it. You're thinking about your work, and you're, you end up putting that your, the palm heel right against that, which yeah. your ulnar nerve goes through, and it could affect your median nerve. It, it's a problem. Yeah, it really is. So, again, you want the keyboard low. You want to be in this good position. Keep the wrist in neutral as much as possible. Sure. If you're, if you're a person that tends to be more mouse-specific, mm -hmm. you actually could put the mouse in front of you. Sure. Instead of the keyboard. You bet. If, um, rather than having it all off here to the side. Same thing with the mouse. You want to have it lower like this. You want to have it uh, on the lower level if, if possible at all. So another thing. Let's let's talk about the chair itself, Brad, that you're sure. in. Sure. Now with your chair, uh, this chair is a little bit low for me. I'll show you if it was really too low for me. There. Okay. Now look how much higher the knees are than the hips. Right. We'd Wh like to have those, you know, maybe the... The knees slightly higher than the hips, but not not of this level here. So bring it back up. Right. Yeah, so get it level. I actually like to have my knees slightly lower I do too. than the hips. I so, do too. So this angle is down. Have this this stool over here, Brad. Sure. Too, uh, which we're going to use later. But I actually do use a chair that's a little bit higher like this, and and I actually have, and I do use a, a support like this yep. for my feet. Right down here. Yeah, so, sometimes just bringing your feet up an inch or two can make a big difference, particularly if your chair is not adjustable uh, and it, you can feel your feet are too low. Right. The other thing you want to make sure, you want to have a solid back to your chair. Don't have one of those flexible backs that, you know, you get into it and you just flex right back into it. Right. It kind of feels neat because it reclines back, but you're not going to get any work done that way at all. Yeah, you're, you want to sit upright when you're doing this. Uh, what I did with this one, I actually took this other back support. It's called the Naple back support. Brad been, has been using this in his car. Oh, I, yeah, I won't go without it anymore. It's got memory foam. I don't like it in my car, but I liked it um, on the chair. Sure, in your office chair. Yeah, in the chair, because it, this is, look what it does. It brings me forward, Brad, but yet I still got support. Right. I, I don't have to lean back. It's giving me support my low back, even though I'm leaning forward. Or right. And actually, sometimes this isn't so much that it's actually physically holding you, but it's a reminder, and it right. touches you, and it's like you subconsciously realize it puts you in a, a right position without forcing you. And speaking of which, Brad, by the way, you want to show that too? This yes, I of, do, Bob. This is kind of a off the topic here, but this is a, another Naple product. I forgot to put the link in another video, and I, I did now, but it's kind of a neat massager. And uh, it, it, it's a thing you can use in your car or in the office. And uh, you got it on right now? Oh, on? yeah. The, these balls are actually moving around. I was just kind of fooling around there, showing it off. But you can see these balls spin. And we talk about soft tissue massage and cross friction massage to get that soft tissue loosened up. Well, this. So that actually, it can, you can put it in your office chair and you can get a massage while yeah. you're working. Right. And I, uh, I, I do like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it works up. Uh, I liked it up a little bit higher. It just seemed right. to, to work. And you're not going to hold it like I'm holding it. The cord's too short, but you put it in a chair. Here, Bob, let's, should we just show them so, sure. so there's no uh, misunderstanding? You have that plugged in 
And of course, it's going to be right, right in, in here. There. Yep. And too bad it's not working right now. I feel. I bet you. Feel here, get lit. I got a. <laughs> we got some powers right there. Okay. All right. Well, I'll put that on, and while I'm getting a little bit of massage, oh, that does feel good. Let's talk about um, if you do a lot of work from that you have to do documents. You want you'll want to get a document holder. Because if, if you have your documents and you have to look at the document and type it in, right, you don't want to be down like this. You know, you know what I'm saying? Ben? It's promoting that head forward right. posture, which we know is uh, not what we want, not so desirable. What, what was nice, if you can put the document holder right next to the computer screen, and now look at me, Brad. I, I can actually keep my head in one position and just go back and forth my eyes. Right, just the eyes are going back and, and not, forth. I don't have to go back and forth like this. In some places, you can even put it right in front of you. Sure. And so, yep. boy, this is nice. This is just like having my own masseuse here. Exactly. Uh, you know, I like the document holders. You know, this is a nice one, but they have them that clip onto the screen and hold your paper off to the side. So That would probably be the ideal one. Yeah, and, and they're, they're reasonable. They're not real expensive. This is an old-style one. This is like 30 years old I got, I got for a long time ago. All right, let's go to Brad. Let's say um, we're really going into... Uh, we're going to spend a little bit more money now. Yes. This is, this is in the case where you, if you sit all day long, and we, we had a whole video on the detriments of sitting all right, day. Right, right. And, and so that we, we talked about getting a, a, a desk that actually goes from sit to stand. Right. And, and there's a number of these out there, and this is a nice one. And we'll show you just what, what I'm talking about, yeah. why I like this one. So um, what, you, what they recommend is that out of every half hour you're supposed to stand for eight minutes and I think it was wasn't it 20 minutes is what they recommended I thought yeah oh, I thought you sit for 20 stand for eight right and then move dance for two, for two. yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, we actually danced but this works out really well because you just high so now I can work this way you know give yourself that eight minute break right uh, they don't recommend standing all the time they no no but you get the variation sit to stand yeah. and it gives your body a chance to uh, be stretched out and tall circulation there and sit and rest in what you liked way. about it is th this actually came along with it because you said you saw a desk I did again. see a, another uh, manufacturer that the desk went up desktop but the keyboard did not come up which didn't make a lot of sense to me. This is by Flexispot. Does it, is the name on the site? Right here. Flexispot.com. So they do a good job too. Um, and th this works out really well. I mean, it's amazing what it'll you know, give a break to your back and neck. Right. Uh, and then, you know, when you want to go back down, you just go in and push it right back down again. Now, go back up once, Bob, because someone might be thinking, well, you've got it up and it gets you standing with good posture, good on your back. But in, in this case, you may need to raise the screen up a little bit. Well, yeah, in, in my case, I, that wasn't high enough the way it was already. Sure. You know, if I have the regular computer on here, this one's getting pretty close. Oh, I, sure enough, I got the laptop. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's still a little bit low. Right, right. I mean, for that little bit, I'm standing. But I, I most people aren't six foot six tall, right. so it's not that uh, big a deal. Most people aren't tall, dark, and handsome, are they, Brad? Yeah, uh, well. <laughs> At least we got the tall anyway. So. <laughs> All right, anything else, Brad, do you want to add? Uh, those other changes can make a big difference in, in your pain levels. And, right. And no, the only other thing is is to get a, a short stretch program that you can incorporate with this. And we do have one. Did we get that up online yeah, yet? Yeah, that's online. So there's a, it's a, a two-minute stretch program that you can do throughout the day. Right. Just look through our videos. And it's and made to do right at the, desk, at the computer workstation. All right. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Arrivederci. Oh.